In Excel, there are three cell addressing modes. There's the relative referencing mode, there's absolute referencing, and then there's mixed cell referencing. And I'm going to go through examples of all three of those in this screencast. So I'm over here in Excel. I'm going to put in 4.3 and negative 2.1. First of all, what is a cell reference? Well, this cell, this cell that has 4.3, is known as A2. It's in column A and it's in row 2. This other cell here below A2 is known as A3. So those are the cell addresses. We have A2 and A3. We use these various cell addresses in formulas. For example, I can write here in cell B2, I can reference by either directly typing in A2, you can point and click over here to cell A2, and I'm just going to take that to the third power. And then when I press enter, we make that a permanent number here. That's the result. I can always go back into a cell to see what formula is in that cell by double clicking. Uh, by the way, you can always press escape to get out of there. Or you can go up here to the formula bar and you can click in there to see what formula is in cell B2. Now this reference here, if I double click in here, this A2 is known as a relative reference. If I take this cell, B2, and I copy, and you notice that this is now a different number. I didn't take the value in cell B2, I took the formula and copied it down. So let's go ahead and double click into cell B3, and now you see that the A2 that was in cell B2 has changed to uh, A3, that's in cell B3. That's because the A2 in cell B2 is known as a relative reference. When I type the formula into cell B2, I reference the cell that was just left of it. So when you drag that down, it's also, so now my cell is B3, and I'm referencing the cell that's just one to the left on the same row. So I'm going to go ahead and clear the contents here. You can do that using the delete button, or you can right click and do clear contents. And instead, I'm going to double click in here, and I'm going to put my cursor right in the middle of the A and the 2, and I'm going to press F4. The F4 key, once, it puts these dollar signs on the, to the left of A and to the left of 2. Whenever you have a dollar sign in front of either the column letter or the row number, that means it's an absolute reference. I like to think of the dollar signs as thumbtacks. So a thumbtack before it means you're sort of pinning it, making it an absolute reference. Let's press it once more, and you see that now there's only a dollar sign in front of the row, and I can press it again, and now it's just in front of the column. These are known as mixed cell addresses, and then I can press F4 again, and it goes back to a completely relative reference. So you can kind of toggle through using the F4 button. So let's leave it at the fully absolute reference, dollar sign $A, dollar sign 2. You can also manually type in the dollar signs if you want. And now I'm going to press enter. Now I'm going to take that formula in cell B2 and I'm going to drag down like we did before. Let's go ahead and double click in there. And instead of having A3 cubed, we have A2 cubed because A2, when we type that into cell B2, this is an absolute reference We've thumbtacked or made those references absolute. So wherever we take that formula, I can even do control C and paste it somewhere else over here. We're always gonna take cell A2 and we're gonna cube it. So let's talk about what a mixed address is. I've typed in 10, four, negative seven, and 13 into cells D2, E2, D3, and E3. Now what I'm gonna do in cell F2, I'm gonna type in the following formula. And when I press return or enter, you should see that that equals 14. However, if we look at the references, these are known as mixed references because only one of either the column or the row is absolute and the other is relative. So we have D dollar sign two, that's making the row always gonna be row two. In the second one, we have dollar sign E two, that makes it, it's always gonna be column E. And now what we're gonna do is right click on this and do copy and then we're going to go down to g3 and i'm going to do right click <clears throat> paste here and we get 17. 
when we double click here, you see that the reference is E$2 plus $E3. So let's take a look back in our F2 formula. This D2, we're going down one row and over one column. If the D2 were just fully relative, then D2 would become E E3. So D$2, when we go down one row, over one column, becomes E$2. And you can see that here. We have E$2. The dollar sign $E2, when we go down one row and over one column, so that becomes dollar sign $E and 3. So that's known as a mixed address. So you'll get a lot more experience with these types of referencing modes as we work through other examples.